So, you've just bought a Raspberry Pi to set up a cheap Steam in-home streaming box. That's great! But now, you realize that you're not too comfortable punching in commands. And what's a sudo? And how does it work? What's an apt-get? This is all very confusing. Well, never fear, as I have come up with an easy solution that can be done in a few simple steps. And we're going to take a look at it right now. By now, you've probably seen countless videos on YouTube all about setting up your own Steam Hinome streaming box for even cheaper than buying a Steam Link just by using a Raspberry Pi. And that's awesome! The Pi was designed for stuff like this, but you're not exactly 100% certain about how to go about doing it. You wish there was a simpler way of doing things. Well, to do just that, I have written a shell script for your Pi and all you have to do is run it. To do this, you only need to enter three commands into your terminal. In order to get to the terminal in RetroPi, press Control alt and f4 at the same time. This will take you to a command line interface where you can enter all of the commands we will be entering shortly. By typing in wget kirkgrosser.com forward slash moonlight auto install. This will grab the script that I have written and save it to your current directory as moonlight auto install. Next, type in chmod plus x moonlight auto install. This will ensure the script itself is executable. Finally, type in sudo period forward slash moonlight auto install. You must invoke the script with a sudo. This will cause the script to run as the super user and will avoid running into issues where super user credentials are required. If you forget to add the sudo, the script will simply kick you out and ask you to invoke it. Putting the dot slash before the program name will tell the terminal that you want to run something in the directory you're currently working in. If the above link for the wget does not work, I have provided an alternative link that you can see below. Now the script will begin. It begins by welcoming you and giving you warnings that you MUST be running a GeForce GTX 650 or higher to use the streaming service. It will NOT work with an AMD GPU. I can't check to see what kind of GPU you're using, so you must keep these warnings in consideration as the script will NOT be checking it. During this time, it's a good idea to ensure that you have opened GeForce Experience on your PC and have enabled Game Stream in the Shield tab of the settings. Then moves into the things I can check. It starts by ensuring that you're running a version of Raspbian, can be RetroPie as well. If you're not, the script will exit. It will also make sure that you are the super user as previously mentioned. After that, it asks if you're ready to begin. If you aren't, just supply an end key and the installer will exit. Installer then begins. It starts by asking for your IP address of the computer you will be using for Steam in-home streaming. It must be a valid IP address. Continue to ask until you supply a valid IP address. To obtain your IP address, open a Windows command prompt and type in ipconfig. Find the adapter that you are currently connected to the internet with and record its IP address into the script. It will ask you to verify that you want to use the IP address that you just gave it, so if you made a mistake, you can go back and resupply the correct address. After that, it will begin doing the whole procedure itself. It will install all required dependencies, it will force HDMI audio at boot if you're using Raspbian Pixel, if you're using RetroPie, you would have enabled this in the menu system. It then adds the source to download the Moonlight streaming service and adds its GPG key, then ensures that all sources are up to date, and then proceeds to install the Moonlight streaming service. The streaming service now successfully installed, it then pairs to your GeForce enabled PC. Please ensure that GeForce Experience is open. A code will appear on your Pi that you must punch in when GeForce Experience asks for it. It should now be successfully paired and the installer will continue. It proceeds to add some launch commands that you can enter into your terminal. If you use RetroPie, it will also add launch scripts and add Steam to the list of consoles you can choose from. So now, instead of entering Moonlight Stream 720 FPS 30 your IP address to invoke 720p 30 FPS streaming on your selected PC, 
you can enter Steam 720p30 as aliases have been added to your Pi that allow you to invoke the streaming service at 720p and 1080p in both 30 and 60 FPS modes. Alternatively, all of these modes are available at the push of a single button within RetroPie. And should your PC or Pi lose its connection to one another, you can reinvoke it with Steam Pair instead of Moonlight Pair your IP address. However, if your PC's IP address is changed, you will need to change all of the aliases as they are tied to the original IP address. As for the RetroPie launch scripts, they will automatically update. If you're using a desktop to stream your games, however, I highly recommend setting a static IP address within your network card settings to ensure a problem like that would never occur. The installer then finishes and asks if you'd like to reboot as it is required to ensure that the HDMI audio forces and that the aliases and launch scripts register. And with that, you're done and have successfully installed Steam in-home streaming to your Raspberry Pi. All you have to do is connect a keyboard and mouse or a controller and you're good to go. So go and celebrate with some good old GTA 5. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this helpful tutorial and this script. If you did, please consider leaving a like. This project took me five months to write and was a large labor of blood, sweat, and tears and was a proof of concept of my Linux skills I have been growing over the past year. If you'd like to see me write other scripts to automate certain things in the future, leave them in the comments below. Stay up to date on other projects I do in the future, be sure to subscribe. Hope to see you again very soon.